हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू वेद यू आई एम योर एस एस टी मेंटर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट जोग्राफीज फर्स्ट चैप्टर रिसोर्सेस एंड डेवलपमेंट नाउ वाई दिस चैप्टर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट सो लर्निंग दिस चैप्टर विल प्रोवाइड यू द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द कंसेप्ट ऑफ रिसोर्सेस देयर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड यूटिलाइजेशन एंड ऑल्सो द इशूज रिलेटेड टू देयर कंजर्वेशन and sustainable use which are essential for your academic growth and as well as for your future as a responsible citizen so in this video we are going to see what are the resources and what are the types of resources on the basis of various factors so let's start the video now whatever is available in our environment and which can help us to satisfy our needs and they are technologically accessible culturally acceptable can be called as resources so we can say that resources help us in completing human activities day to day activities even human beings are the component of resources as we know that human beings interact with nature through technology and with this they do economic development just see an example metals found in environment like gold silver are valuable and they can be exchanged for money so now we know about what are the resources now let's see what are the types of resources so the resources are classified on the basis of origin exhaustibility ownership and the status of development okay let's see the classification on the basis of origin there are two types of resources biotic resources and abiotic resources the biotic resources are the resources which are obtained from the living world and they have life human beings flora and fauna fisheries so these are some examples of biotic resources now coming to abiotic resources these are composed of non living things and they don't have life such as rocks minerals and metals these are the examples of abiotic resources now on the basis of exhaustibility resources are classified as renewable and non renewable resources exhaustible resources are those which are present in limited quantity and can be completely used by human beings so the renewable resources can be renewed or reproduced by physical chemical or mechanical process for example solar and wind energy forest and wildlife now wind energy was amongst the first resources harvested by human beings to improve our livelihood and they produce energy also now let's see non renewable resources so these resources take very long geological time to get formed for example formation of fossils takes million of years but these fossils cannot be recycled and get depleted with their use next we have on the basis of ownership on the basis of ownership there are four types of resources ownership means who owns them so the four types of resources are individual resources community owned resources national resources and international resources so first of all let's see about individual resources the resources which are owned by the private individual are individual resources like people own land and house for themselves and the farm given to farmers by government are included in individual resources now second type is community owned resources the resources which are available to all the members of community or the society known as community owned resources for example playground public park burial grounds is available for every member in society now the third type of resources is national resources and these resources belong to a particular nation so the nation has legal power on the property for public good jaise ki minerals wildlife land within the political boundaries and also the oceanic area up to 12 nautical miles from the coast of that country now 12 nautical miles is 22.2 km so this 12 nautical miles from the coast this oceanic area is termed as territorial water and this water belongs to a particular nation now for example of national resources are roads and railways coming to the international resources these resources are regulated by some international institutions 
Did you guys ever heard about international water? The oceanic resources beyond 200 nautical miles of the exclusive economic zone belong to open ocean and this is international water and no individual country can use it without permission of international institution. Next on the basis of development there are four types of resources. Potential resources, developed resources, stock and reserve. Potential resources are the resources which are found in particular region but they have not been utilized yet. For example, we have Thar Desert in Rajasthan. This desert have enormous potential like making solar energy. At the same time, wind also flows in Thar Desert. With the help of this wind, we can generate wind energy but we have not utilized it till date. The next one is developed resources. Developed resources are those resources about which we have complete information regarding to their quality and quantity and we also have technology to utilize them. A few examples of developed resources are rivers, lakes, forest. Now forests are the richest source of developed resources as it provides fruit, shelter and wood etc to human beings. Now coming to stocks. Stocks are the resources that are available in the nature to satisfy needs of human beings. But we don't have the right technology to utilize these resources. So we can say we don't have the developed or right technology like know how to use it for our purpose. For example, there are so many minerals and resources available below the icebergs of Antarctica. But we don't have that developed technology to use it. Now next are the reserves. Reserves are something which are set aside and we will definitely use it one or other day because we have the technology to use it. So we can say it as a subset of stock. For example, hydroelectric power is being generated from river water means that water is used only for generating power and it can be used for another purpose also. So in this way we have seen what are the resources and what are the various types of resources on the basis of exhaustibility, origin, ownership and many more. So I hope that you all understood this video and on the basis of this video there are some questions which you have to solve with the help of textbook and we will continue this lesson in our next video. Till then keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.